All right, so if you ask me, so that that ending is shit. So fuck that one. Um, quite honestly, for myself, uh, I would probably pick the middle one, the one where you kind of like you know you kind of merge uh, synthetics and humans, because that's actually kind of like what I think is the cool thing. Uh, you know me, I've, I, you see me play DSX probably, and I, I did the basically the same thing. I, I like the merger of uh, humans and AI, but we're going to the destroy path, um, because that's how you get the best ending in this game. It's the whole point of going for the like maximum war score, so. Uh, so I guess we'll just, uh, you know, have a look at the Reaper. Yeah, fuck you, Reaper bitch. I'm coming for you. Yeah, I know you guys all- oh wait, is that- that's not dis that's destroy, whoops. Alright, so I may have wasted a little bit of your time right now. Uh, but your time is clearly not precious because you've made it to fucking game 3, part 80 something, and fucking, uh, yeah. So you could wait, uh, about 10 more seconds and we'll just keep the kid. I'm having trouble deciding. I forgot, I forgot red is the color of, uh... See, it's basically, do you want the blue ending? This is actually supposed to be the green ending. So... I don't know if my shadow is, like, working properly. Where's my shadow? Went away. Fuck. It's hard. I can't shoot it from this angle. I'm going, kid. Just hold up. Don't reaper me yet. Die.
is over. The Reapers have been defeated. Against all odds, and in the face of the greatest threat this galaxy has ever known, we survived. We suffered many losses. The relays are severely damaged. But we won. This victory belongs to each of us. Every man, woman, and child. Every civilization. On every world. Now, as we take our first steps toward restoring what we lost, we must remember what it took to win. This wasn't a victory by a single fleet, a single army, or even a single species. If this war has taught us anything, it is that we are at our strongest when we work together. And if we can put down our grievances long enough to stop something as powerful as the Reapers, imagine what we can achieve now that they are defeated. It will take time, but we can rebuild everything that was destroyed. Our homes, our worlds, our fleets and defenses, all of this and more. Together we can build a future greater than any one of us could imagine. A future paid for by the sacrifices of those who fought and died alongside us. A future that many will never see. And while we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together. And we will honor those who died to give us that future. Alright, that's the end of the game, guys. We finally did it. All three games, man. All my channel. Very happy about that. Uh, we'll go into what I thought about all three games, but let's just talk about, I guess, for this one for now. Um, this may be a rather unpopular opinion, and it may shock you, but maybe those endings weren't so good. Oh, shocker. I, I, I know I know I'm really being edgy here with these opinions and uh, it, nobody thinks like this. No, yeah, this game gets a lot of shit for its endings and no, they're not very good. Uh, I, I think I think I saw uh, some other video series of why 
like, they're kind of like allies and they're basically like, oh, the, the problem is that like, your objective is kind of just destroy the Reapers up until the very moment where you go through the giant fuck you laser thing up to the Citadel. And then the, the, the choice is just completely changed. It's no longer, oh, we need to stop the Reapers. Now it's like, how do you want to stop the Reapers? You know, kind of thing. So, um, as I said, I would have taken the synthetic ending because the, the, the problem I have is that like, okay, fine, you, you, you melt yourself. And then like, the thing is though, when you, when you kill all synthetics, you're also killing ED and the Geth, which you just made, you made them into your bros, and then we just fucking backstabbed them, so. And then also Edie's dead, but uh, I don't really care um, about that necessarily. Not a character I was attached to. I was attached to Geth. Why couldn't Legion survive? That'd be, that'd be all the fucking motivation I need. But uh, no, we went with Destroy it, and just because you get that last cutscene where Shepard is alive, so. It's implied he's alive and fine, so. Uh, kind of neat. Uh, but, you know. Uh, as I said, it's pick your fucking color ending, and you know it's as shitty as uh, the Deus Ex, uh, uh, what was it, Mankind Divided ending. That one was pretty garbage too. Same thing. Press a button and see see a video for an ending. So I don't I don't know what is it what it is and like why it's so difficult to make proper endings. But I don't think it has left anyone particularly satisfying satisfied. However, I had a lot of fun because, like I've always said. Um, you're on you're on this channel and always the philosophy for me has always been fuck story and video games Who gives a shit? Uh, I just like playing games and the kind of like I like more of the environmental stuff uh, Like in the now rather than like the, the story that tells I've never really liked the story that games tell all that much um, I mean there's a couple of good ones when, when it's good and it's there. I appreciate it but if it's not there and if it's just trash, I don't really get, give a fuck. Because uh, as long as the game is fun to play, it's fine with me. Um, and I'll, I'll say this about all three games. Uh, the first Mass Effect was basically, I would say, the best in terms of what I think classic Bioware sort of did. Uh, which is more of the RPG style of games. Um, and that's why I appreciate Mass Effect 1 a lot. And I think... I don't know why people don't always forget about Mass Effect 1. Mass Effect 1 is great. I actually really like it. You have the exploration. Uh, the shooter mechanics are okay. They're fun. Uh, it's very RPG. Like, uh, it, very good uh, RPG FPS sort of thing. It's not like a heavy RPG, obviously, but I think it's pretty good. Uh, Mass Effect 2. Now, when I, when I played that originally... Um, as I, as I said, uh, if you guys forget, the first time I played Mass Effect 2, I hated it at, at the end. I'm like, well, I'm not doing Mass Effect 3. Uh, I'm saying it's not at the end of Mass Effect 3, so you know I did Mass Effect 3. Uh, and so, I can say, you know, some of the plot elements aren't so bad. It's just the side missions that are shit about Mass Effect 2. But the one thing that Mass Effect 2 did better than all the other games is the fucking memes. Uh, that's where you tested it came from. Like, holy shit. Like, Mass Effect 1 didn't have- well, Mass Effect 1 had a couple of good memes, like big stupid jellyfish, all that kind of stuff. Mass Effect 2 had a- had a- like, all the memes. And number 3 didn't really have that many memes. The best one is the, the killing yourself one. I started killing myself one. That was the fucking- that one was good, but it wasn't, like, as good as- as Mass Effect 2's memes. Like, Mass Effect 2 had the best memes. And Mass Effect 3, I think, is just the best shooter game. Uh, it- like, it, it was a like really solid shooter game. And speaking about the shooter mechanics of it, uh, it's... Now, we, we were... We were using the Valiant, and up until, I think, the last mission here, I, I thought it was, like, the best weapon, hands down. Until we got to the last mission, then, I'm, then I said a couple times, I'm like, I wish I brought the Widow along. So, a little bit of maybe imbalance between the weapons, and there's also the fact that uh, I made Garrus into a fucking god. Um, but to be honest, I know it wasn't intentional. I know they didn't balance it that way. However, I had a lot of fun with it that way because I actually felt for the first time in all three games that my squad mates weren't completely fucking useless and I actually wanted to keep them alive. Like, that was, that was a shocker. And I, and I know it wasn't intentional because I know how much damage I could dish out and I'm like, you know, a sniper and stuff like that. And like, the, the, the way he was kind of doing really well with the assault rifle and stuff. I know I know it was a glitch, but I felt like that's actually the way maybe it should have been. And 
you know, like that's the amount of usefulness I expect out of the AI to, to be able to kill stuff with the weapons that they have. Like I'm a sniper uh, and I'm not supposed to necessarily be very good at dealing with the tanky things, uh, you know, the things in your face and stuff like that. Garrus excelled at that. I was good at taking things out from long range. Yeah, honestly, like because of a, I honestly because of a glitch, it felt like it was actually like a balanced co-op game in a way, where like you know you could kind of like you give your allies uh, like get, like your friends and stuff like hey Pat get on the assault rifle or whatever Ken get on the assault rifle or whatever or, you know and we kind of like balance our loadouts and stuff like that. It was weird because it was a game that actually felt pretty balanced in that way, but it, I know it was due to an unbalance because on the hardest difficulty, they don't want the the AI to be able to be even close to being able to carry you. Um, but that's what they can do. And as I said, they excel very much at that kind of stuff. As I said, I would, I, I, it was a shock to me because I'm like, that's the first time I've ever felt like an AI was useful in a game. Um, I, I mean, I think like maybe Half-Life 2 Episode 1, like Alex is pretty useful. There is very little games I think I've ever played where like you have your your squaddies and then they, they, they don't feel like literally fucking shit. And I mean, in Mass Effect 1 and 2, they were most for the most part shit. Number one, they were good for their abilities. Number two, their abilities got cut out and their weapons were shit. So I soloed Mass Effect 2. And I'm sure I could have soloed Mass Effect 3, but Garrus was actually useful. Like, you know, he was good. Um, so, happy about that. Uh, so, I don't know. I think it's a solid game if you just look at that, you know. Did that all really happen? Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so very long ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. Tell me another story about the shepherd. It's getting late, but okay. One more story. That must have been a really long story. Hot diggity damn. Alright, congratulations on bringing the end to the Reaper threat. Uh, says, uh, the team here at Bioware and like Shepard, we can have done it alone. Mass Effect trilogy began with a vision from a small team, but it's grown. Thank you for our adventures. The thing you have to remember though about like teams like this that work on ga games as large as this is that like. You know the people who made Mass Effect 3 are not the same people who made the Mass Effect 2. You can go through that credits for both games. And especially EA. EA has such a high turnover rate. Uh, I actually knew a guy. I worked with a guy. Because uh, I'm a programmer. I worked with a guy who did QA at, at, at EA. And he's like, yeah. He's like, the, the fucking turnover is ridiculous. So he just, you know. I mean, he, he's a part of that turnover. He's like, yeah. I worked on like a couple of games. And, uh, you know, and then I left. I'm like, oh. I forgot which ones he worked on, though. It was quite a while ago. It was like uh, mid two thousands EA, I think, if I recall. I don't know. I don't know what he worked on. Um, and if I look up his name, I'm sure I can find him. I could tell you his name though. And fucking doxing people I used to work with, pieces of shit. Anyways, um, so um, what else is there to say? I mean, as I said, I, I like this game as a shooter. Um, I mean, the story is garbage for the most part. Garbage. Uh, Actually, you know, just the ending. Like, I thought the Leviathan, Leviathan thing was pretty good. The Citadel stuff was pretty good. Like, it was all good. It's just that that ending was whatever. And that, that's what everyone kind of, like, just fucking goes like, Oh, the game's shit, you know. It's all they basically dwell upon, you know. So. I mean, I, what can you really say about that? But why are we back on the ship? Well, I guess it's because we, we survived. That's why we're back on the ship. But we still have the crucible, though. Huh. Oh, there's another war thing here. Uh, 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 the Alliance forget Normandy SR2. 
I counted. So I guess I didn't really need that doubling of the effective military strength, but I figured I might as well just have it just in case. Uh, there's one there's one variant that's like ten times more. You just add an extra zero to everything. I'm like, what the fuck? Who the fuck needs that? Commander you do one mission, and it's like, yep, ready to go take the crucible in, sir. No problem, though. Commander. Yeah, I think I think nobody has anything to add to me. So yeah, the teams change all the time. Why the hell are we here? Is this uh? Oh, it loaded before we did the his base. Interesting. It just takes us back here. I'm looking forward to killing myself. Apparently. Yeah, so we still have the Citadel here. Very interesting. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know that's what they did. I, I just thought we were like, you know, just explaining the universe, uh, the universe and just having a grand old time. But whatever, I guess we're not. Um, I mean, the weapons... Uh, I I I, I kind of find it funny because in Mass Effect 2, one of my biggest gripes with Mass Effect 2 was the lack of weapon selection, particularly because the sniper ran out of ammo so quickly. So you, as an infiltrator, were basically spending all your fucking time using this stupid ass SMG, and it was so annoying. Um, and in this game, this is a lot more weapon variety, but I basically just stuck to the same two or three weapons. <laughs> the minute I got them, I'm like, yeah, I'm, there's no more reason for me to use anything else. But the reason I like it is because I actually was able to use the sniper rifles in this game. I wasn't able to use them really in Mass Effect 2. I wasn't allowed to. Um, I had to hold on to it and spray everything with a fucking SMG. And Mass Effect 1 was good. That's, I think it also clues, uh, keys into a lot of the reason why um, I wasn't a big fan of uh, Mass Effect 2. It might also be that, guys. Because I know a lot of people were, were shocked, but I thought the gameplay was terrible in Mass Effect 2. And it was because of that, because I, I was spraying SMG in combat all the time. It's kind of like meh. Um, that's why, as I said, if I ever played this again, if I ever play this again, which I, I, I might do it at some point, but let's wait like ten years or something. I don't know. Um, and maybe I'd probably I'd probably do a run as Vanguard. I've never done a I've done a run as Adept in Mass Effect One, and what I did was I took I took a bonus skill and I put that into snipers. That's what I did. So I had like all the fucking abilities, and then. Uh, and then on top of that, I had sniper rival uh, 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 abilities, so that was fun. But yeah, like, I would, as I said, I would do Vanguard. Vanguard would probably be a lot of fun. Um, if I did this again. This is obviously a huge undertaking by me to do all three games on my channel, so. Uh, but I had fun. Uh, I did it for me, a lot, for, for the most part. And I hope you enjoyed it, too. Uh, it, was, it was great. Um, as I said, you know, there's a lot of, basically... Uh, I would say dialogue time wasters in this game. Oh, and I'm going to tell you my actually my biggest scrap with this game. Above all else, crappy story or crappy ending aside, there is no Paragon and Renegade here really, and and they 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 blur a lot in this game. I don't know why. Like, it's weird, and like the the prompts as well are just dumb as well. Like I, I basically was getting Paragon prompts on on Earth to basically like. Yeah, let's give fucking Javik a bro fist, and it's like the fuck, like why? Um, so I, I honestly, I that's why this one lacks memes because there wasn't any funny renegade stuff that went on really. You know, they just kind of ran out of things to do and say and whatever. So, oh Edie, you're still alive somehow. How's it possible? Can't talk. To, oh, she's not even talking to me. Give me the silent treatment. She knows what I did. Commander. Yeah, he knows what he, he knows what's up. Anyways, uh, you know what? Um, I think I, I think I'm gonna give it a rest now because uh, yeah we've pretty much covered everything I've wanted to uh, with regards to this game. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing it for you guys. I love the fact that I, was able, I just did all three uh, for you guys. Um, and yeah, so uh, no more EA games ever on my channel. <laughs> so I don't know what we're doing next, but I have to decide. So uh, uh, thanks a lot for tuning in, guys, and take care. Goodbye. Tested it.